Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today we're going to connect to Bitly. So Bitly is a platform that you can use to track your users linking. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started how it works. So basically the idea is that you can create here your own link, like put your link here, let's say uh, google.com and you can transform that and shorten that link to bit.ly bit slash google and basically this link bit.ly google uh, slash google it will go to this google.com and in the middle bit.ly will start tracking uh, how many people actually clicked and some information about you know the user who clicks that so yeah basically you can do that manually here sign up and click it there or we can use their api of course you know that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna first we need to first we need to first create generate our access token so let's go and sign up let's do coding with ado coding with ado at gmail.com you can send me emails to that email if you want and password let's do a password here Sign up. Cool. Uh, we we'll need to enter the password again here and generate the token. You can verify your email address. Okay, let's verify our email address. Let's go to my Gmail. Got it. Gmail.com. Address the Gmail. Let's see if I got the email from spam. Yeah. Verify your email. Oops, there's an error, but that's okay. It says it's verified. So now we should go to integrations. Where were, okay, settings. Our settings are shape eight. Okay. So now we can do the same thing. Generate token and we have access token. Awesome. So remember to what we said about this on the Zoom video. You can go and create an access token directly and use that. Or we can create an, a, a register an app, have a redirect URI, and have the OAuth uh, with the client ID and secret, transforming that into a code and then getting the access token. But for this video, we're going to do this access token. Okay. We're going to dive deep into, we are going to dive deep into OAuth uh, in, I don't know if the next video or the next, but yeah, the idea is that I will teach you everything about OAuth. But for now, for Bitly integration, we're going to use this access token, okay? So, we're going to go to our code and let's start coding. So, first thing, we're going to do the npm unit y we're gonna do an npm install.env and we're gonna install axios so for the .env file we're gonna create the access token variable and for our index.js file we're gonna require require config and then const axios equals to require axios. Okay, so we're gonna create our function here. I think function shorten link and we're gonna send here the link that we're gonna shorten. So we're gonna do a try catch console error 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 and inside the try catch let's do a const response equals to an await axios dot post the URL is https api ssl dot bitly dot com slash before slash shorten 
okay and then we're gonna have two uh two checks here the first one is gonna be the uh, data so it's gonna be the long url to be the link and then we have in the second parameter here the headers authorization reader process.m.access okay okay and then let's do uh, return response.data okay let's create our function here to call that and shorten and let's do const url equals to an await shorten link and let's say our link is youtube.com slash coding and then look, let's do console log url okay so let's clear this out let's run it and let's see if that works also it works as fast as it can right so now we can go to that link for example let's click on that link and you can see well yeah i think my url was not the one that we wanted i think the uppercase and lowercase okay let's let's do that again the code let's change this to that with https and everything let's run that and now let's go to the bit.ly open and now it went to that and what's going on now so if we go to bit.ly and we see the links that we have you see the coding we have this is the one that is working and you can see the click data for example well right now you have to upgrade to get the link data the link performance okay so if you um if you upgrade you'll see like how many people actually clicked on that and everything but yeah for now you know now how to shorten your links on your on your apps and it's very useful for you know showing images and other things to shorten those links and uploading files for example uh, so nobody knows like you know, the real url the website directly etc um, so yeah that's basically how you connect to bitly um, if you have any comments suggestions let me know like subscribe and see you on the next episode Bye-bye.